Horton. I'm a custom home builder in upstate New York. And today we're here on one of my job sites and we're looking at Bosch's professional GRL 500H rotary laser level. Uh, overall, my first impression is that I look at the lightweightness of the, the tripod and the rod and, and the tool and I was a little bit skeptical that maybe it would, wouldn't hold up to the rigors of the job sites, which, you know, we're not working in offices here, so. Um, but so far, uh, we've had a chance to knock this baby over and um, throw it in the back of the truck a few times, and I have to say that it actually holds up pretty well to, uh, to what we can, all we can dish out to it. So, um, let's start by going through some of the features of this uh, remote and the main unit. Um, you plug one unit in, it charges both of them. See, when you take the remote comes off of here, right here, it tells you that you've just removed it. You push the uh, on button right here. Now it syncs up with the main unit, and this will, right here is this little icon, will tell you when the main unit starts to, uh, it's, first of all, it does its own, it does a self-leveling thing right now, and once that's uh, all done, then the unit will start up. Um, as you can see on the back, this is the charging ports, and this is where it sets up right on on the main unit here. So the again, the remote charges directly off the main. You charge one volt up on the top here. You have uh, your battery level indicators. This is uh, for the uh, remote. This one is for the main unit. Um, you can see that right here. Here's your volume level. Um, you can also calibrate uh, to the millimeter, uh, depending on what type of leveling you're doing. Uh, this will tell you the different modes that you have right here. You can scroll through. When, they, when the thing is sit, let, leveling itself, it'll be right there. And, it will, and if it doesn't level itself, that means that you have to come back and at least get the unit a little bit closer to where it is. And see, there it is. Tilt look goes off, and it tells you that the unit is functioning. These things both have lithium-ion battery packs in them. Uh, they don't get changed. They just you just plug in. It comes with a remote unit that uh, excuse me a charge uh, charging pack that comes with it. Uh, the other nice thing too about this, which we didn't see when we took it uh, set this up, is that uh, they come with uh, with a nice tripod. It comes with your uh, stick right here. Give you that, and the nice thing about this one too, and I noticed with this pack, is that when you fold the tripod up, this goes right in the middle of it, so there's a, it fits right in uh, inside of it. So it's one of those things you don't lose. One thing I noticed was always an issue is you get here and you get it set up, and all of a sudden you're like, where'd the pole go to? So with this setup, everything is all put together with it. Uh, we'll take the remote, which is takes care of. There's no switches. There's no uh, there's no panels. There's nothing on the main unit. Everything is done here by the remote. So there. So we're going to get set up to start doing some leveling. So we're going to take the remote and we'll come back over here to the case. And this is where the remote just slides in, snaps right into place. Another nice feature about uh, this whole setup is, let's say you're out on a job site and you're, you can't see your main unit anymore. Somebody comes over grabs the main unit and starts walking off with it, this will automatically tell you that your unit has been moved and basically it's on the move and you should go check it out. <laughs> so whether it's uh, just one of your coworkers pranking you or somebody actually stealing it, you'll know pretty quick. So here we set up, pull the stick out here based on spending what you're doing. This one goes up to eight feet. The first thing we're going to do when we set this up, is we're going to put this on the stick and we're going to come down until we can get, whoops, we're going to be within range of where we're going to be. And again, you can check, change the, uh, how fine, you can fine tune it, for a better word, of, of exactly how close you want to be. This will be within five millimeters. And then from there, you can go up to seven millimeters. So if you're doing something that you don't require that much accuracy, and if let's say you're a long way away from the unit and that you want to, you're trying to dial it in a little bit quicker, um, you put it on a wide range and it'll get you close. And then you can then, from there, you can dial it down inside that you're going back to within one millimeter. So here, this thing is telling us that we got to go down. We're going to get 
our adjustment close so when we get, get there, we we'll still leave a little slack and then read tells you exactly that you're at zero millimeter. Now I have this thing set to the one millimeter range so it doesn't take much more than just moving the stick just a, uh, a certain amount. But if you want you, you want to uh, go in and you'd say it's fine if you're with it accurate within two millimeters you can always increase that and you can see when I move it around it pretty much stays right at zero. So today we're uh, looking at this uh, deck on top of this uh, new house under construction here. We're going to go around and see how good uh, our framing crew actually was. So, we walk around and we can come up over here and we look at it and we say, okay, this guy's pretty good today. These guys are going two for two here. We gotta go down about two millimeters on this end of the house. I suppose in uh, 70 feet, two millimeters is not that bad. Yeah. So at the moment, we decided we're gonna be done with the main unit. We want to conserve some battery pack. Push this convenient little button with the Z's on it right there. And if you look at that icon comes down, and if we take a look over at the main unit over there, uh, the main unit has shut itself down and is now in battery conservation mode. This thing, the main, the uh, remote, will do the same thing on its own. If you are uh, idle for a certain period of time, it'll actually go into sleep mode itself as well. Uh, so another nice feature uh, about this unit is that you can read it from both sides. So um, typically, if you're uh, th this part of the unit needs to be facing uh, the main unit in order for it to pick up the infrared signal that's coming across here. But if you happen to be in a position where you can't look at it from this side, this is one of the few units I've seen where the readout is on both sides of it. So you could be standing here and you know exactly uh, where you want to be. So I've been had a chance to use this for the last few months. And I would say at first I was a little bit skeptical because it seemed like it was a little lightweight and wasn't really sure how well it was going to hold up to the rigors of the job sites. Um, so far, uh, we've managed to knock it over um, a couple of times. And it, I have to say it's maintained its accuracy uh, right to the specs that Bosch has, uh, has told us. Um, I, some of the really nice features about this thing is I, I like that it has the uh, remote unit, which a lot of times is a completely separate, uh, not really married to the unit 100%. This one, all this, you, what you get here is you get the main unit and the remote. Everything tra has charges together with this thing. Um, it also, all the controls, and we'll take this off here, and that you'll see is all the controls are right here on the unit. There's nothing on here. So when you walk away from it, if you're out somewhere else, uh, and again, we go through some more of the features of, that, that's on the keypad. But the nice thing about it is, you know what this unit's doing at all times, even when you're not right next to it. You could be out on the other side, and you know that it's on, you know that it hasn't tipped over, you know, you, you know that it um, is still running. That was the only nice thing about this. This thing is 100% self-leveling. Um, and, you know, we typically we try to get this you know, eyeball looking good. Sometimes I've just set it up and walked away from it and look back on the thing and it, and it has self-leveled. Self uh, there's an, uh, w one other further feature with this here is you can actually take the remote unit out and it comes with this handy bag that you can strap right onto your tool belt. And that way you can keep this uh, safe and sound on, on you at all times if you want to walk away from the rest of it. So it's nice because you can put it right in this bag, keeps it protected, uh, keeps it close by. So here, the screw is in most standard tripod uh, setups. 
it's nice. The, it's got two handles on it. You can hang on to it. Um, pretty lightweight. Um, here's the charging port at the bottom of it right here. It comes with this charger. And that charger goes right into the bottom of it here. And then, as I said before, this whole unit just gets charged all together. So when you're ready to use it next time, not only the main unit is charged, but the remote is charged as well. Put down the uh, weatherproof port on the bottom of it, and you're good to go. Here's your unit. You set that right into the box like that. Ample storage on both sides over here. We come over and we... There's our storage. And that goes right there. All comes in this really, really nice kit. Carry case, lock it down, and we're good to go. Bolt collapses down. Just down like that. Come over to your tripod. Pull up on these handles. That right there. Holds up nicely. And then you take the rod and you put it right in the middle. Lock this down. There you go. You got your carry case, your rod stays right in there. You got our level.